Nissan Navara was once called the first comfortable pickup truck of the old world. It is still very popular, but you need to know some of its features. By the early 2000s, Nissan had a solid fleet of light trucks. However, some models cannot be called light, the same Titan, for example. They were sold mostly in Asia, the Middle East and America. Europe and Russia did not have the pleasure of driving and transporting goods in Nissan pickups. In some places, an old King Cab and a more recent MP300 were offered, but the time of the first was long gone, and the second was too utilitarian for everyday non-commercial needs. Unsurprisingly, the introduction of a new mid-sized pickup truck into Nissan's lineup was received with great enthusiasm. Yes, and marketers predicted a pickup boom in the coming decade. And so it happened. Pickup truck sales have skyrocketed, including in the used car sector. The product, of course, is specific. However, since most car owners perceive a pickup truck primarily as a budget version of a prestigious SUV, and only then as a truck and a road, the demand for secondhand copies is stable. About the model, in many respects copies Pathfinder, but the pickup truck was supplied only with a 2.5 turbo diesel, YD25 series, 174 or 190 horsepower, which has different modifications of fuel systems. Typical diesel ailments, plus a not very tenacious turbine and the possibility of cracks in the MCC when overheated. At the same time, a resource of 320,000 kilometers is declared. It is combined with mechanics or a good machine gun Jacko JR 507E. Its limit is estimated at 350,000 kilometers, despite the rapid wear of the solenoids, noticeable by 150,000, and frequent electronic failures. The Nissan Navara pickup truck with the D40 index entered the European market in 2004, exactly one year before the Pathfinder SUV created on its platform. There were two differences between these cars, in addition to the obvious, the body. The pickup has a dependent spring rear suspension, the SUV has an independent spring, the Pathfinder has an auto mode in all-wheel drive, the Navara has an honest part-time. Engines and transmissions are common, a 2.5-liter diesel engine as well as a six-speed manual transmission and a five-speed automatic transmission. Unless the gasoline 4.0-liter V-shaped 6 was not put on a pickup truck for a long time. Both SUVs boasted a force-locking rear differential, an option for the diesel version. As obvious advantages of the Nissan Navara, car owners noted excellent maneuverability with a small turning radius, sensitive steering and quite comfortable suspension, which was not typical for a truck of that time. All of the closest competitors in Europe and Russia were stiffer, cramped, or more utilitarian than the Nissan pickup. A major upgrade in 2010 primarily affected engines and gearboxes. A fast 3.0-liter V6 diesel with 231 horsepower was added. S, and the inline 2.5-liter turbo diesel, 4, was boosted from 174 to 190 horsepower with. The new diesel received a 7-speed automatic transmission which better coped with the highest torque at that time. In June 2014, the next generation of Nissan Navara was born, with the D23 Index. Deliveries to Russia of the D23 series were not officially announced at the time of writing, and the Nissan Navara D40 can still be bought not only used, but also new. Judging by the reviews on the internet, for its intended purpose, for the transport of goods, Nissan Navara is rarely used. Much more often, as an expeditionary, tourist, family, hunting and everyday car. Car owners willingly carry out off-road tuning of a pickup truck, achieving good results. They install non-standard fog lights, since the factory ones rarely survive the winter, build on the body, mount the tow bar, and not for trailers, but simply because there may not be a towing eye. Car owners and servicemen note several car weaknesses. First of all, insufficient corrosion resistance. This applies to both the body and attachments, sills, chrome bumper trims, etc. Chrome fades and peels off, minor damage to the paintwork swells. After three or four winters, small fasteners stick tightly. Before unscrewing, any bolt or nut smaller than M12 must be properly soaked in a penetrating lubricant, otherwise a breakdown is likely. After restyling in 2010, complaints decreased, which, however, can be attributed to the young age of post-styling cars. In general, the purchase of a used Nissan Navara, of course, should be accompanied by a thorough inspection on the lift. Highly desirable and a test run. You should pay attention to almost everything, well, perhaps not to engines that are not noticed either in oil leakage or in vulnerability to off-road obstacles. 
only a test drive can reveal rhythmic noise and vibration at a speed of 90 to 95 kilometers slash h, indicating the imminent death of one of the crosses. Car owners who combined off-road driving on large toothed wheels with transportation, for example, an ATV in the back, lost their rear cross members already in the first 50,000 runs. On the other hand, this can be considered a kind of fuse, since a broken cross piece in time does not allow, say, a transfer case to break, which, unlike the Pathfinder, almost never happens with its automatics. There are no special complaints about the transmission, both automatic and mechanical. However, some truck Jeep will easily sentence the clutch to a thousand to the twentieth run. You can replace the clutch with certain skills even in the field, but it's better to opt for an automatic, whose failures are extremely rare. Another problem can be safely called the front wheel bearings. It is unlikely that there will be any actively used Nissan Navara that has not required the replacement of at least one pair of bearings during the warranty period. This trouble is given by the characteristic hum of the front wheels, which practically disappears when the steering wheel is turned. The front suspension, as it turned out, is far from the strongest unit of the car. Often the power steering fails, both the rail and the compressor itself. They cost decently, under 25,000 rubles each. CV joints and springs hold well, but shock absorbers do not last long. However, it depends on the brand. The suspension is soft, and shock absorbers can be set more powerfully. Behind everything is better, but there is nothing to break. The main thing is to do without constant overloads. Inside the Navarra pickup truck, two unpleasant surprises can await you. A puddle is gathering under the navigator's rug due to the unsuccessful placement of the air conditioner condensate drain pipe. Well, squeaks, common for almost any frame model, and even more so for a pickup truck. To get rid of puddles, the condensate drain tube is lengthened or shifted in a cunning way. In 2008, the tube was changed, but if you feel damp in the cabin, keep it in mind. And the squeaks. Turn the music up louder and don't pay attention. Annoying sounds can also remind the engine of itself, by the squeak of the belts of the generator and hydraulic booster, which is characterized by the sticking of the tension adjusting screw with an unusual left-hand thread. The alternator belt is echoed by the air conditioning compressor belt. At first, this is treated with a special aerosol, then with a replacement, which in the case of an amplifier drive turns into a very laborious task. The electrical part is rated for a solid four. It is only important to monitor the battery charge and, as soon as possible, change the standard unit to a more capacious one. Light bulbs that sometimes burn out and blinks of the check engine indicator after refueling are the little things in life. You can complain to the service station, but it most likely will not go further than dropping erroneous codes. The main disadvantages, moping electrics and corrosion of the body coming from the bottom. All-wheel drive transmission with a rigidly connected front axle. Interwheel locks are simulated by electronics, but there is no center differential. You can take if the body is in good condition. If you are going to buy a Nissan Navara in the secondary market, please be patient. And luck won't hurt you either. The car as a whole is very good. High cross-country ability, economical diesel engines, acceptable comfort. A roomy body will be useful to both the city dweller and the rural dweller. A pickup truck is not ruinous in maintenance but some nodes require qualified service and operation should begin with a visit to a service station, better than an authorized one.